In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a PDF in PowerPoint so that students can annotate in Schoology. I will walk you through the steps to set up the PDF in PowerPoint, as well as uploading it to Schoology. Finally, I will show you what it will look like from a student view. The first thing I need to do is open up the PDF I want my students to annotate. Now that I'm in preview, I'm going to select the first page of the document. I'm going to go up to File export. I'm going to add the number one at the end of the file name. I'm going to select a format of a JPEG and then I'm going to click Save. I need to do this for each page of the document. So I'll go to page two again, go to File, Export, add the number two, go to Format, change it to JPEG, Save, and now I'll go down to page three and do the same thing. File, export, add the number three at the end of the file name, format is JPEG, and then save. All right, so now I want, I, once I have all my pages turned to JPEGs, I can go into PowerPoint. So I'll go to my dashboard and then into a new PowerPoint online. When I'm in the PowerPoint on online, I'm going to go to layout and I want the layout to be blank and then I'm going to change the layout. So I now have a blank slide. I want to go into design. I'm going to click on slide size. I'm going to select custom slide. I'm going to change it to portrait and I want to change the width to eight and a half in the height to 11, just like a standard sheet of paper. When I have it, this done, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to maximize. And then I have my blank sheet of paper, my blank slide. I'm going now to add two more of these blank slides by clicking new slide, blank, add slide, new slide, I'm going to make sure it's blank, add slide. All right, so now I'm going to go up to my first slide. I'm going to click back into design. I'm going to select background. I'm going to select picture from file. I'm going to choose the file and I'm going to go to the first uh, JPEG I exported from the PDF file. Click open and then click insert. So now I have that page set as my as my background of my slide, so students cannot move this while they're editing it. I'll do the same thing for slides two and three, background, picture from file, choose file, pick page two, open, and then insert. Finally, I'll go to page three, do the same thing. Background, picture from file, choose file, and open and insert. So now I, once I have this all set up, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to name it. All right, now this is online, so it is now also in my OneDrive and I can add it to an assignment in Schoology. That's where we'll go to next. Now my Schoology course, and I'm going to create a OneDrive assignment for my students to annotate. I'm going to use the PowerPoint I created from the PDF. I prefer setting up the PowerPoint as an assignment, not embedding it into a page because this avoids students accidentally marking up the embedded copy. Uh, OneDrive assignments provide students with their own copy. So let's get started. I'm going to add materials. I'm going to click on add assignment. I'm going to click on name, call it Pyramid, KC, description, please annotate for central idea and supporting details. Now I'm going to come down to assign from, I'm going to click on OneDrive assignments. 
scroll down I'm looking for my PowerPoint here here it is I'm going to click attach I'm going to select select this uh, scale and select the category I'm going to call this classwork All right if you want to leave the points you could change the points to zero um, if you want to use it just for classwork and we'll talk about that later I'm going to select availability and due date I'm going to select that to be the 11th all right and I'm going to go ahead and click create now this assignment right here is in my course next I'll show you what it looks like from the student perspective now I'm in the student view of my course as I can see I can see the assignment I added so I'm going to go ahead and click on the OneDrive assignment so here it is here's my description please annotate central ID and supporting details and I'm going to go ahead and click on my documents and pops up my PowerPoint so I'm going to go over here to click edit now as this edits I have two tools I can use or two tabs I'll use for tools is insert and draw I'm first going to check the uh, view to a hundred Click OK all right so now I'm going to go ahead and go to my draw tools first and I have some certain different tools I have erase I have pen one a pen to and a highlighter so I can click on the highlighter it gives me a little drop down arrow I can change the color I can change the thickness all right and that allows me to highlight I have two pens that that will allow me to underline Our bracket I have another pen color maybe it tells me I can circle all right I can add go once I want to switch off of the draw with touch I want to go to select now I want to go to insert and I can select a text box all right it allows me to type and then I can move this text box around where I need to. All right. If I scroll down to page two, you'll see all my drawings, all my annotations are still on page one. If you look at the thumbnail, and I can go back to insert, select shape. I want a circle or an oval. I want to go to fill. I want no fill. I'm going to go over to to weight under theme color and I'm going to go two and a quarter. So now I can select that and I can add a little nicer circle to my work. All right. And I'm going to go back to draw. Let's say I want to reread this. This is important to me. I'm going to put in my brackets. All right. So now this is saved into the teacher's uh, folder in the teacher's OneDrive, and we I can show you that in a minute. But as we go back, I can exit this out now, and I go up. And here's the document. It doesn't look like I've done anything to it, so I want to go up here and click on refresh. And here is 
page one, you can see my highlighter, you can see my pen colors, my text box. Here you can see my brackets, the circle I've embedded, all right, and it hasn't changed. So one thing you might want, if you want your students to hold on to this copy, you can have them click here and download a copy. Once they download a copy, they're going to have to put it into their OneDrive. They're going to have to take it off their Chromebook and put it into their OneDrive and however you have them save their files. All right, and then they can come up here and they can submit an assignment. But make sure you tell your students before they submit the assignment that they refresh the page so all any edits they have reflect here. Next, I'll show you my OneDrive folder and where you can find student work. Now I'm in my OneDrive and Schoology created a folder called Schoology Microsoft OneDrive Assignments. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. and it'll separate it by class. So if I click on Future Slab Sandbox Section 1 and Pyramid KC, I can see my student work, so I can click on that. And here is their work with the annotations. So this is where these files are stored. They're stored in the teacher's OneDrive. So that's why students need to download a copy for themselves before they submit. 